district market has always, always, always been known as a fruit and veg market. That's its identity. And we know that there's been a street market uh, on this site going back to 1276. Um, but even before then, you know, there was evidence of, of coins and, and Roman uh, fish bones and that sort of thing. So we know it's always been uh, a, an important site. And it continues today. It's a very important part of the town, the market. It's, it encourages community. It's somewhere where people have a sense of belonging. The yeah, family business has been here since 1897. So third generation down now, um, which is on my husband's side. It was three brothers. So they all had a stall each here in the same spot. So one did roots, one did cut flowers, one did fruit. And they were all in a line here. All the plants were grown on the land and pulled what was called roots, tied up in, in, with string and bought to the stall. Uh, my nan and um, my uncle Bobby used to work down here as a barrow boy. And Bobby was one of us, he was a fetcher and carrier. Um, a simpleton perhaps to people's eyes today, but I know was well loved and respected and the sort of person that um, the stall holders would have actually looked after. And we had a yard just around the corner actually, where Kennards used to be, and they used to pull the stalls up from the yard, which was an old stables in them days. I remember it certainly a lot busier than it is now, stall holders, um, literally cheek by jowl and you used to have to sort of scrunch your shoulders up as you walk down the market. I mean, I used to come down here when I was a kid, with my mum and dad and all that, you know, and it was, you had to hold on tight to their hand, otherwise you'll be swept away. I started coming with my mother during the war, and then we, uh, occasionally, mainly to buy coats yeah. in Croydon, we always got, came through the market, and then we moved to Croydon in 1964. And so I've been coming regularly since then. Yeah. But I come to this market very, very often because it's such a lovely place to be. Yeah, 1951. I bought six Jaffa oranges for sixpence on the way to work. And I've been coming every week once and it is a really good market. People are nice and now they start holding Indian vegetable and Indian other things and that and I'm really happy that I can get everything what I want. I've been coming down here probably for 50 years since I've lived down here. Sometimes it's good, sometimes it's not. I once had my purse, purse pinched, uh, which, which was an interesting experience. <laughs> I've been coming to this uh, market for years and years and years and I love the spirit of the market. I love, even my son, when he was very tiny baby, he was like two months old, they used to bring him here, introduce him to the colors, to the shape, to the people, to the streets. And now I'm older, it's still, okay, I still has so much people, and I, and I wish it, it was, I wish it would stay. Every time I come to Croydon, we always come down here to Surrey Street. Uh, it's probably the best market in the whole of Britain um, and obviously somebody that remembers it from its heyday. When I first um, came here uh, it was very much an enforcement job but I realised that actually the market needed help. When, when somebody comes along with a new idea, a trader, it may be they've been made redundant or they haven't worked for a while. I'm very keen to to um, to encourage them. A funeral who whom, whom I saw as my supervisor has been very supportive. Yeah. She has directed me, helped me, give, made me to start. We offer taste today as well. We provide a gazebo table, cover the public liability, and they can try that for ten days. And if after ten days they think, yep, this is this is a sound idea, then they can go on, get their own public liability, buy their own gazebo, and they're off and running. It's a great way of trying and testing the market. Luckily Fiona came to us and said, uh, yes, we can trade. And 
we got a surprise for a week time that we are here. We're actually loving it. Um, well, it's, it's less risky here, really. So you come in and you just focus on just what you do for the day. So it gives you, it has helped me a lot to try out what I wanted to do for the bigger picture. Like, because I knew I wanted to do a cafe, but being here has helped me to actually structure my plan and find out what works and what doesn't work. And give me the confidence to know that my idea actually works. So for me, being here, it's been a learning experience for me more than anything else. Personally, I've been working here for 26 years. Um, I've always loved it. I love the feeling about the market. There's always something special. Um, the clientele are lovely. People come down here on a daily basis, really, to actually shop, and they become friends. So um, the fact that you're here on a regular basis, you're always in the same spot, makes that corner shop feeling. I've been down there for about 20 years. In the summer, it's a lovely, lovely trade. It's nice, but in the winter, it's bloody hard. My new language is very hard. And there's a lot of competition about it. And a lot of traders are feeling the pinch now. But as time goes on, hopefully the market will um, improve a little bit more. There's been quite, well, it's been really hard down here. I'm from Czech Republic, and I started five years ago. And I was from beginning, I was working just every Saturday and maybe it's like a year ago that I start working almost every day here. Because I didn't really find other job, I took this chance to work almost every day here. Well, uh, this is Veg Instead, we're a vegan uh, street food store. Um, we do vegan sugar free foods, so we do salads, hot foods, um, desserts. Sort of thing. We've been here since February, about eight months, uh, and it's going fairly well. Hello, I'm Kathleen. I was a juice by the market. I've only been here for three months, just this summer. I do organic juices and I'm looking to grow into a mini health food store. So I will be selling um, dried fruits that are gluten and wheat free and um, some powders that are good for general well-being. I started coming to Savage Street about eight weeks now. I sell perfume or makeup, yeah. So I'm just looking for a place to start and then maybe go further. We moved to Croydon about four years ago and we got a find a story. Me and husband decided to to resign both our full-time job and start doing the dream. Some enlightenment pushed us to do Filipino food, so we're just gonna move on to doing our own food and do our own culture, and hopefully we'll get used to it. I was, I was, I was selling, I was selling um, clothing, and that got hard because Primark moved in. So I decided to change into this because I know everyone's got to eat. We do the rubbish, put out the bins. Keep it as neat and tidy as best we can. And um, we start at six o'clock in the morning, we finish at three. I get up at two o'clock in the morning, I have a nice cup of tea, <laughs> and I go and have a shower. Then I get in my van and I go to Spitzfield Market and try and look for a bargain. Sometimes I get bargains, <laughs> sometimes I don't. And um, I come to Surrey Street about Say about half past four ish, five ish, start to the store up for the day's trading. So about six, seven o'clock at night. Oh, I start 9.30 and almost everything is ready here. And I finish 2.30 because I need to collect my surround from the school. Saturday is still the busiest day. This is this Saturday, definitely. Saturday. And Monday is not bad as well, I can say Monday is good and Thursday is not bad as well. It can alter, you can have a, a really good Friday and a lousy Saturday or you could have a really good Thursday and a lousy Friday, it, it all depends really. The customers are awkward, they're all different shades of people. You think they're alright and all of a sudden they just switch on you and you know, they're just rude to you sometimes. But, um, 
Ninety percent. Yeah, the nice people, the nice customers. And sometimes it's quite difficult with the customers. Yeah, they don't really get it. One thing that I found working here all these years that the amount of people that I've met have always come back and supported you. And I always get people saying good morning. I get a cup of coffee. I get cups of tea. I get cake. I get. It's just lovely. It's that lovely feeling. We're quite lucky that. The workers of Croydon come in here and have lunch. We're actually loving it. But well, being here and having a, a, a store like this, what I've noticed is most people come to the market and they don't really want to stop. They just come down here to get their fruits and vegetables and leave. It's not a farmer's market. Anybody who comes with a stall of some farmer stuff doesn't do anything. When I first came here, there was 100 plus stalls. 90% were fruit and vegetables, but now, the stalls have just declined. I think it's just a sign of the times, though. People shopping supermarkets now to get it delivered. I don't know if it's just a trend of the shopping now, where people don't do markets and all that, and also a lot of people put it on credit cards. Tried to encourage different types of, of market stalls, but that's a challenge, you know, with these big shops, Mat Matalan, Primark. Poundland, all the pound shops that have cropped up have really taken over from market stalls and they are all indoor markets that don't have all the, the, the elements, the weather to, to cope with. It just wants investment, it just wants some vision if you like. I would love to see the fact it was all unison. I'd like to see the fact it would have more signage so we have big arches on each end of the market to encourage people that they know it's here. I think they could spend a bit of money on the thing, yeah. It just needs a clean up, doesn't it, George? Yeah. That's all, just a little bit, of, it wouldn't take long. Get the shopkeepers to buy some paint. You know, paint their shops, keep it all neat and tidy. And the road obviously needs doing and that, and uh, perhaps better street lighting. We'd be nice if we can have a little dining area. I think oh. we should embrace this and make more culture into it, maybe put some live music on. Um, mostly I think it's more about marketing and getting people to know that this is the market is here and it's not just a cheap vegetable market but a market that has much more than that, an area that have new businesses that are trying to come out into the high streets but they're just starting off to try out their ideas. So a place for you to come and experience one-to-one -one rather than the, um, what you don't get in the high street. So we have to keep reminding uh, people that the market's here. And we can do this through um, events, uh, for instance this Saturday Harvest Festival, um, to remind people that Surrey Street's here. There's an awful lot here that would attract people from all over the country. It's got a massive amount of history. We've got three King's Charters here. We could have it as a, a really good tourist attraction. I see it that way. Behind me you'll see a, a wide range of um, buildings, flats, offices being converted into flats. This is all bringing young people into Croydon. Uh, they're hopefully going to be customers of the market. So we, we see a great future in Surrey Street. As long as the traders want to work here, the market will always remain. We have two sons and one has got horticultural um, qualifications. But at the moment, no. <laughs> Not interested. It's, um, there's a big wide world out there and there's a lot more to offer. I, I, was, I, was, I was doing it since I was a kid. You know, I've got to have it in you or you ain't. People just comes into it new, thinks it's easy. It's not. I think as the market trends have died down a wee bit, I can't see them can't see the market surviving another eight hundred years I would say. And please keep the markets. The market is so it's the soul of the, the community and it's wonderful that we have markets still so despite all these uh, corporations and despite all this uh, saga of the multi uh, millionaires or billionaires so we still have in markets it's tangible it's handy and most of all it's, it's affordable so thank you for for keeping this <laughs>